bicycle. Once I meet those expectations and I have giving myself all the confidence in the world that I will do this because I was either going to sit and sulk and cry, why me, why me, or turn a horrible day into the best day because I'm able to make a positive impact on other people's lives through sharing my story. Once I got up to this point, you know, I started becoming very anxious to leave. When am I leaving? I started to feel like it was a hotel because I lived so close to the hospital. I thought, oh, I can just go home and shower, see my friends come back. Your brain is back to level zero as a kindergartner. When they had asked me what school I went to when I came out of my coma, I said Pulaski Road Elementary School. I was a student at University of Tampa, but that's how serious a brain injury is. I'm not sure if any of you have been in contact or a family member has some form of a, form of a brain injury, but it's really scary to not have your thoughts lined up with your actions. They told me, like I said, I'll never walk, talk, then I did that. Then they said, hey, you need at least a year or two off of school because it just is what it is. I went back to school in actually four months for summer classes. I was so focused, so determined. I didn't even care about getting back for myself for graduation. It was more my, my support team and I called them my Tampa family. I wanted to be the loudest one in the stands being there to support them to make sure they heard me in the stands for them to graduate. It meant so much to me. So every day I lived, ate, rehab. I had speech pathologists come to my house in New York, a uh, physical therapist come into my house, then leave for neurology appointments. I would have two, three appointments per day. And it was not just depressing, but kind of overwhelming, finding ways to stay positive when everybody tells you, you can't do this, you can't do this, you won't do that ever again. I remember every day practicing, walking, holding my wall. I have two, uh, I have a metal rod in my leg as my bone came out and I had to line it back up with the rod. I have two bolts in my knee, two bolts in my ankle that will be there forever. Especially going back up north, the snow is very, very difficult. I remember falling asleep on the couch one day after dinner with my sneakers on. Couldn't even take my shoe off the next morning for quite some time because it was so stiff. It was so much pain to even take a shoe off. But I tried not to let it bother me, just stayed focused. And once I got to those summer classes I touched on, I made my last semester that much easier after the summer. I only graduated one semester late, which I was very, very proud of. But having being told that all of your hard work going to college is down the drain for something you didn't even do, just didn't sit right with me. I didn't care how hard it would be. I didn't care what I would be missing out with my friends. I made the adult decision to go back to school and I knew I was gonna do it. But from that graduation point, I realized I wanted more out of life. I had a finance degree my whole life. I wanted to be making this big salary in a financial corporation somewhere. My perspective changed, I could, to say the least, after an accident. I had very few things in my control